Hey folks, it's IO Ether and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Merker. He is in his VK7201K and this is a tier 10 game in Ghost Town. So, before we get into this horribly tiny match, good lord. Um, I do want to say a couple things. First off, obviously, I haven't been putting up videos as much of late. And that's due to technical issues more than anything else. Um, for some reason, OBS has stopped recognizing um, browsers as anything. So, I, I mean, I guess I went to download another copy of OBS and see if that was the issue, but I haven't got to that yet. Uh, well, I'll just rumble towards town. Um, but I've done everything else I can think of um, other than actually downloading a new copy of OBS, of course. Um, but OBS just doesn't recognize browsers, so end game reports, all that stuff is interesting to get to work right now. Um, and so, yeah, um, that's why I haven't been recording a lot, but I also sat down and realized that I don't like playing World Tanks as much anymore. Um, and so I think I'm going to slowly start to phase it out and it really hurts because I spent a long time building up the community and so you guys send me games and I love that and I love all that but I can't if I just stop doing it or I slow it down to only twice a week then I'm gonna have a huge backlog of people who send me amazing games that are never gonna see the light of day and then it occurs to me that I can just we can still use the games just in a different way in the community I know I have at least two YouTubers in the community who are trying to put World Tanks games and sometimes they're having to resort to, you know, finding their own games to, to, to use, which is fine, but as a YouTuber, I know that sucks. When you have a time crunch and you just need to record a game, you don't have three hours to go in and find an amazing game you played so you can record that. And you don't necessarily always remember to, <laughs> to save games for the dry times. Um, and so what I think I'm going to do is open up, I've actually started already doing this, uh, open up a new role in Discord, which is going to be labeled YouTubers, and anybody in my Discord who wants to put games on YouTube is going to have access to all the replays I get submitted over Discord. And I'm going to start encouraging everybody to send me replays over Discord only, and then any YouTuber who wants to, can just come in there and pick from amazing replays from all over from all my awesome subscribers and get access to a, a whole new branch of, of replays and all you have to do is not be a dick about it uh, anybody I see it because the youtubers are gonna have uh, some pretty wide-ranging powers in discord in order to enable them to uh, download people's games and play different uh, games and stuff like that uh, and pull people into rooms and, and, and stuff so they can record games with them live if they decide they want to but if those powers start being abused then we're going to have to figure something else out as long as that doesn't happen I think we can create a really great little community where you guys are sharing games between each other and hopefully that works out really well and I can record a couple a week and not feel like I'm missing so many amazing games because I'll get to watch them on other people's channels. So yeah, that is the plan. We're going to go ahead and it's launching already. I'm just going to keep encouraging you guys to send me games on Discord and we'll have to find a community way for to mark them off as recorded so we don't overlap. I mean, I guess that's a thing that could happen, but anyways. Yeah, so that is the plan. Um, and with luck, that should mean that everybody gets their game seen, um, or more likely that you guys get your game seen, seeing as I can't necessarily be recording a game a day anymore. It's, it's just going to drive me crazy. I can't watch that much World Tanks. I don't, I don't feel the same way about the game anymore that I used to. Um, and so now I'm going to be recording other games. I'm playing other games. Um, and but obviously I'm still gonna do some World Tanks because I it's still something I enjoy playing once in a while and still something I love watching. 
this is unfortunate for this poor T57 Heavy. I guess he did get two of his four heat shells into us. Um, once, once he finally started aiming for the lower glacis. I am hesitant as to why Merker is pushing down a flank when he knows he has a T57 behind him. Um, but obviously he's going to go ahead and delete the crumb. <laughs> That's what he was doing, I guess. Um, I haven't actually played Ghost Town yet, so... I don't know all the streets as well as I would like to. I mean, if this is from Mozart, I can tell you exactly where he's going and what he was going to do, because I played him Mozart so many times. I haven't played Ghost Town enough to, uh, any, any actually. But, uh, it's going to take me 20 or 30 games in this thing before I start to realize where, what and where and why, kind of thing. Uh, looking for the shot on the E100 is going to get it. 700! <laughs> Almost 800 damage to that poor E100. And the Tifu Sim comes out and just starts pumping rounds into us. But, if he's not going to shoot some perfectly in a or glacis, oh, come on, Mark, angle on that. Mm, that could have been angled better. <laughs> um, hello! Ha! Because he wasn't looking straight at us. He couldn't hit us in the place he wanted to, and he's going to die for it because we definitely reload faster than he does. Mostly because of the fact that we fired so much earlier, earlier than he did. Uh, also, apparently the I-7 is in fact going to kill him. E-75 thinks the path is clear. It's not. We're going to smack him in the side for a whole ton of damage. Um, bat chat artilleries are annoying when you're on the receiving end. <laughs> I mean, I've known this for a while, but I feel like I need to reiterate. Oh, this poor E-75. He thinks this is a good place to sit. It's a horrible place to sit. But, unfortunately, only 78 damage before the kill. It's kind of a waste of a shot, but... I mean, you still gotta take out the enemy, so I guess it's not. It always feels like a waste, though, when you fire that shot. Having only lost two members of our team, the rest of us are just gonna kind of plow into the enemy ranks. That E100 looks like is dealing out a beating, but he can't be facing all directions at the same time. Oh, who's going to come around the corner and actually blast somebody else? Uh, looking for a shot. Can he? Yes, he does have a shot on the T57. Ooh, we met. We missed. <laughs> we spotted damage. We didn't actually do damage, which is unfortunate. Uh, with only 300 health, he doesn't really want to poke around this corner because, of course. The uh, 57 can definitely kill him if he get, finds a weak spot. So at the same time, we can definitely do damage to that 57 if we find a weak spot. That, though, is a dead E100 shout. And that would be a weak spot. <laughs> Firing into not quite the front of his turret. Puts the shell straight through and into the poor guy on the other side. There's only four tanks remaining, including the Batchat. We know where Merker's going. He's going to go kill the thing that was killing him. He knows where the Lorraine died. It's likely the bat chat is over there somewhere. Scorpion G looks like it was in the open, but it's dead now. Oh, hello, Mr. Bat chat. Oh, yeah, nice shot. Take down the bat chat. Unfortunately, no shout in the gun for this Rhymatol. The Rhymatol is probably going to die long before we get there. Long before we have another shell loaded. Yep, there we go. That is the end of the game. Well done, well played. This was actually quite enjoyable to watch, um, except apparently he failed his mission. That's gotta suck. <laughs> uh, what was his mission? We can't tell. Oh well, whatever. I'm sure Merker will tell us in the comments if his mission was anything fun. Um, but obviously it was heavy tank number 15, so obviously he wanted to get it done for the 260, I want to say. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, thank you all for watching. I'm going to jump over and we're going to hope the battle report works. If it doesn't, this is going to be the end of the video. Because um, I don't have time to fiddle with it anymore today. <laughs> so, let's see if this works. Haha! -ha! Mm, I, th I think. I, this is as good as it's going to get, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah. This is weird because it's in the wrong place as far as my eyes are concerned. Everything's all flip-flopped. But, Ace Tanker... Bruiser, fighter, fire for effect, shellproof four bombs. Uh, look at that. Huh. This, this is not a premium tank. 
That is just awesome. A steel wall and high caliber. Well done. Uh, does that mean we got hit by a friendly because we killed the enemy? Yeah, that's what that means. We got shot by a friendly at some point in time. That's great to know. Did we? Or was or is there two? There was two. Oh, okay. So we got hit by one of each, and somebody else killed the other one for us. Okay, not the friendly, which is which is over here somewhere. Um, but uh, so much ahead of the rest of the team. And then the fact is, th the two next top damages are tier eights in a tier ten game. It's a little sad. Oh wait, no, I seven. But he's so far down the list, so it, these two are, I guess, spotting themselves or others or something. Whereas he was just being spotted by others. I don't. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that worked. But anyways, either way, well done, sir. Making a profit in a tier ten game, especially that kind of profit, is worth it. Yes, he did have an action payout, but still, it would have been forty thousand credits, which is nothing to shake a stick at at tier ten. And I'm sorry if I look kind of sweaty. It is super hot in this room. Uh, so again, we're going to do the thing over on Discord. If you're a YouTuber, you want to record World Tanks games, you don't know where to get them. I have a supply. I can't use them all. Thus, I'm going to make sure everybody has them available. Just send me a message uh, in Discord if you want to uh, be labeled as a YouTuber. And I'll get that going for you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day this IOE throughout.